this program is related to to print the multiplication table of a given number from keyboard first of all we have included the header files we will make this program by using uh, the while loop do while loop and the for loop with all three loops we will make the same program for uh, now after entering the header files we will include start the program first of all declare three variables tab is the variable uh, for which we will have to make the multiplication table next res is the variable for the result and c is the variable for the iteration of the loop first of all we will ask the user to enter any number for which the multiplication table uh, he needs to be uh, printed on the screen enter any integer now first of all we will initialize c by 1 as we want to print the table from 1 to 10 so we are initializing uh, the c variable by 1 first of all the while loop c is less than equal to 10 so this loop will continues 10 times from 1 to 10 the result of the table tab the integer for which with the multiplication table needs to be uh, printed on the screen and c is the value now it should display the result something like that c multiply by the tab by the table which is needed to be printed is equal to the result is stored on res variable and enter now give the increment to the c variable return 0 first of all we will compile that program now i am running that program here you can see the output by using the while loop we have printed the multiplication table of integer 5 first of all we have selected three variables tab is the variable for which the multiplication table needs to be printed on the screen res is the variable that will uh, store the result of the multiplication and c is the variable on which the iteration of the loop will continue and its value will the range is ranges from 1 to 10 here we have applied the while loop for first while c's value is 1 1 is less than equal to 10 this condition is true so it will execute its body here if we consider that the user has enter 5 we want to print the multiplication table of 5 so the result will be measured as 5 multiply by c value the c value at this moment is 1 so the result has will store a value of 5 and it will be printed on the screen after execution of this statement c value has been increased by 1 and its value becomes 
sorry, two. Again, it will check the condition. Now, for two less than equal to ten, again the condition is true. It will again calculate, multiply by two. Five will be multiplied by two, and result will show an answer of ten. And it will be printed on the screen. And now, the C will be increment by three. And this goes on increasing until C becomes equal to eleven. After the C value becomes eleven. this condition will be checked now this condition becomes false once this condition becomes false this loop is terminated and the program ends now we will make the same program by using the for loop Here we have, we will do some changes in this program, and this program will be converted into a for loop program. First of all, I am going to remove that. For e is equal to one, you can declare c over here also. You can declare over here like in. C equal to one instead of here. C less than equal to ten. The same condition and C plus one. Now again, I'm going to compile this program. run that program again for the five here the result is displayed so here you can see that by using the for loop we don't have to give a separate statement for the increment of the variable which is being used for the iteration we can use a single statement for declaration of this variable for initialization of this variable for checking the condition and as well as for the increment and decrement of the variable now let's make this program by using the do while do for the do while loop we have to declare as well as initialize the variable which is used for the iteration in the do while loop the condition is checked after the execution of the statement c less than equal to 10 and c decrement of the statement is also included in the program successfully compiled again we use the same five and here you can see that the multiplication table of five have been printed in this program you can see the difference that in the do while loop the condition is checked after execution of the body of the statement once so here if the user has entered 5 he wants to print the multiplication table of the 5 he has entered 5 uh, for the tab variable next after the do statement this body of the statement will be executed and the c value 
will become after execution of this body of the statement will become two so it will check the condition two less than equal to 10 as this condition is true so it will execute the statement again for instance by using the by do while loop we have an advanced stage uh, that if the condition in the first iteration for let's say it becomes false for the other while loop and the for loop if for the first time the condition becomes false it will not execute the body of the statement uh it will not execute the body of the statement not for only the one time uh, it will not execute it for any time but by using the do while loop uh, the body of the statement will be executed once always so this was all about to print the multiplication table by using the do while loop